Hello, this is Steve Shaw for AcrylicPouring.com and today I'm doing something big. Maybe you've heard the phrase, go big or go home. Well, I'm already at home, so we're going big. I've got a 30 inch by 40 inch canvas. This sucker is huge. And I cannot wait to do my biggest pour yet. So to get things set up, I'm in my front yard. I've got a little table out in the front yard. I put a sheet over the top just to keep the paint that drips off the canvas from uh, ruining too much stuff. Uh, one thing I think that's important to do so that the paint won't slide to the left or to the right, I've actually gone and gotten a level. And when I shift the camera down, I'll show you that I'll put the, uh, the level will be on top of my canvas just to make sure that everything's kind of nice and you know, level so the paint won't flow down to one side or the other. So I'm going to do a swipe today with a simple swipe tool. I'm gonna to pour my paints across this canvas kind of horizontally and then do a swipe out from the center towards the edges with white. Uh, I did one similar to this a few days ago. It looked beautiful. It was on a uh, 10 inch by 20 inch canvas. It turned out great, so we're gonna see what happens here. Be prepared, be forewarned. Uh, we are in my front yard, so a dog may come by. One of my neighbors may walk up, but whatever happens, happens. And that's part of the beauty of acrylic pouring. All right, let me shift the camera down. Here we go. I've mixed up my paints. Uh, most of these are apple barrel paints and I've used various colors. I really love blues and turquoise, so that's really what's gonna be driving this picture is a lot of the blues. So I'm going to just do uh, several lines, trying to keep things kind of similar on both sides of my canvas and then swipe out towards the edges. I have added a little bit of the spot on treadmill oil and this stuff really works you guys. I don't know if you've tried it before, um, but it works great. I think it works better than anything else out there. So let's just see what happens. Giving it a couple of stirs, gonna pour a few lines. Gonna try to do something that's a little um, symmetrical. I only have a little bit of that left, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that in there. So there's some blue gone. Gonna give this a nice little swirl. This is a much darker blue, going for some contrast here. Oh yeah. Coming back again through here. I used an old bed sheet to put over this little table that's underneath here. Um, one that I thought my wife might not miss and one that if it got trashed, nobody would care. I'm sure you could find some at the uh, at a secondhand store. Uh, let's see, I've got, oh, I found this beautiful metallic green. Got some silicone in there. Dropping down on one knee here. Gonna go in between here. Wow, maybe, it, well, let me make sure I got another line, enough to do a couple lines here. Pretty. Let me just fill in a little bit with this. Okay, ah, got a little bit left. I'm just gonna randomly put this around. I've got a darker, I'm gonna call it a teal. I probably should have making a little mental note about how much paint I mixed up to cover this canvas. I'm hoping I have enough. If not, I'll figure out something. That could have been a lot more there. A little bit of light blue. Light blue. Okay. What have I not used in here? Got this really pretty, it's, it's a purple, but it is so light. Actually, you know what, I think I'm gonna save this purple. It's a little bit thicker. Uh, I don't, if I have silicone in it, it's not much. So I'm actually gonna use this as my swipe color. So I'm gonna set it aside. Oh, and here's the level I was talking about before. And if you put it on here, it's uh, pretty close. Here's a really beautiful, beautiful um, light marine kind of blue. 
I'm going to probably put a lot of this on here. And I've got enough of this. I have a full 16 ounce cup of this stuff, so I may end up using this as kind of a filler color as well. Mm, I'll fill in with that in just a moment. Okay, I've got some straight up white. Oh, I'm going to add a couple little lines of black in there too. Here's another shade of teal getting out here towards the edges. I'm going to put a little black in here. I know it's kind of crazy, it's a little dangerous, but I think that's going to create some really nice contrast. I'm going to put a little black in here. I know that's a little crazy, but it's going to give it, I think, some pretty good contrast. So, got a little bit of black here. I'm going to go another little row of black through here. And I'm going to add another one kind of out here towards the end. And save that black for a minute. I'm going to fill in the blanks back here. I'm going to do my harsh white. Yeah, let's go through here. Got a lot more canvas over here without paint on it than the other side. I'm probably going to pick this up and tilt it a little bit. And we'll see. Do I have any other colors in here? All right, swipe with that. All right, I got some good white here. Stir that up. This is good old titanium white. Gonna fill in. Oh yeah. This is my first pour outside, which is kind of neat. Haven't done that before. Pretty much all I got color wise. One, two. Oh, what the heck? Let me put a little black in here. Oh, that turned out to be a lot of black in there. One more little row of black. And I'm going to put a huge amount or big amount of this. It's uh, almost a lavender. It's just it's such a light purple. It's just it's almost an off white. It's so pretty. Uh, I'm going to risk it and just see what happens with some of this as far as a. Uh, Having some bald spots, which just means places where there are where there's not any uh, paint on the canvas. Let's just see here. Got a lot of this paint's pretty heavy. Or a nice thick layer here. <clears throat> I'm gonna put it back here. One way back here. All right, I am not gonna tilt. I am simply going to swipe and see what happens. Gosh, this is pretty. You know what? I mean, this, it's not a mistake. I've got some red and I'm just gonna do a little zing in here. Not much, just as a little, little spice. See what happens with that. Okay, so my swiping tool today is, um, I, I got it at the, at the lows, it's just a, I don't know, a piece of plastic used for smoothing something out. Let's keep an eye on this painting and see what happens. I've already got some really cool stuff happening in here without any swipe at all. And here goes, I'm gonna swipe from the center out. Nice, I'm wiping this right on my table. Holy cow, beautiful cells already happening right there. Nice. This thing is so huge. 30 inches by 40 inches is a lot of square footage and a lot of paint. Wow, pretty, pretty, pretty. Go ahead and swipe back towards me here. These are gorgeous.
Homer painting is just so much fun. I'm doing this a lot quicker than before than I would normally do it, just because there's so much area to cover. And what I'm getting here, I may have to re-swipe over here. This area over here is, oh my gosh, phenomenal. That just, I want to eat that. It looks so good. Got a chunk in here, which happens every now and then. Just lift it out if you ever get one of those. Okay, coming around. This is looking really cool. I'm gonna get in here, it looks like the paint got a little thick through that area. That weird chunk of something in there. A little chunk here, a re-swipe across there. A little pull across there, see what happens. Wow, folks, this is really, <laughs> really beautiful. I love it when I, all these, look, this is like, cell utopia in here this is nuts look at these things the cells are just exploding out of everywhere and i gotta say that is all due to the uh this treadmill uh silicone wow because i did not get cells like that before love this all right i'm gonna try to lift this thing up hopefully without getting it too crazy um in the past, I, I would probably would have hit this with a torch to get more cells, but I'm not even gonna torch this thing. I'm just gonna let you see it here. Tilt it back this way. Sorry to make you look at the back of the canvas. Boom, boom. Wow, check that out. I hope the camera is giving that its justice because that is a beautiful, beautiful painting. All right, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, tell your mom, your dad, tell your friends about it. And my paintings, uh, if you like the way my paintings look, I have an Etsy store. Go to Etsy.com and just search for Steve Shaw and you'll find my paintings there. You won't find this painting because it is too large for me to ship, but otherwise, go check out my other artwork. Thank you much, bye. This is a view of the painting the morning after, just to let you know how it turned out after drying, and it looks pretty darn great. A lot of great cells, everything held together nicely. And this is one of the best paintings I think I have ever done. And one of the great things about a painting this size is you can take it in sections, and if you can spend just a couple of minutes just drinking that in right there, isn't that beautiful? So this was a great experience. I plan on doing some more really large pours, probably out in my front yard. And uh, hope you've enjoyed the video.